Hello and welcome to the introduction to cPanel. cPanel is a graphical web-based web hosting control panel designed to simplify administration of websites. You might even hear the term GUI used from time to time to describe cPanel and basically that just stands for graphical user interface. Now all this stuff means is that cPanel has a bunch of easy to recognize images to show off the different applications. Now, we're going to check these out here in just a second. Now, I'm going to guess that you already have a domain name and a web hosting account and that that web hosting account offers cPanel and not Plesk or some other type of custom control panel. Now, you can access your cPanel control panel a couple of different ways, but you're going to need to go to your browser. And in this instance, you're going to enter your domain name forward slash cPanel, that's C-P-A-N-E-L. And then we're going to log in with the username and password that was sent to us by our web hosting company in that first email we got when we first bought the service. Let's go ahead and do that first. Now I've got two different tabs here because these two tabs represent two different web hosting companies that I use. And that's going to demonstrate the different look or the different applications available depending upon the web hosting company you use. So in this case, we've got our domain name in there, forward slash, why oh, you think I've done this before? And then type in C-P-A-N-E-L. And had I not just logged in earlier, I would have been presented with a login box. Let me go ahead and log out like this. And in this case, I would enter the username and the password that I received in that initial email from that web hosting service. Now, as you can see up here in the browser bar, we've got this little padlock and the HTTPS. That signifies that we are logged in securely. Now let's do the same thing over here and a different way to log in is you type in the domain name in the browser bar like we've got there and instead of a forward slash in cPanel we put a colon that's the two dots and then a number either 2082 that's the unsecure login or 2083 like this and that's the secure login method so let's try the 2082 and we're presented with a box and even this one looks a little bit different than the box presented to us on that other company and here we are now another thing in addition to being logged in not securely which is fine for the most part we're also left with our domain name in the browser bar whereas with this one here that's logged in or in this case not logged in but if it were logged in securely it would have the server name instead of the domain name in the browser bar Let's go ahead and log out of here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just 2083. And we're presented with the login box where we put the username and the password. Log in. And here we are with the padlock and the HTTPS and the server name no longer is it showing the domain name. So those are the different ways in which you can log in. Now another way which really isn't a way that's used very often, at least ways by me, and that is by using the IP address that is initially given to you when you first sign up with that hosting account. Because whenever you first sign up with a hosting account, you're providing them, for the most part, with a domain name that they can then attach to that hosting account. Now, instead of that domain name being immediately accessible to that hosting account, because it's got to propagate, as they call it, through the internet first, which can take a couple of days or so, instead of waiting for that, they give you, they being the web hosting company, give you an IP address that you can use to log in. Now, no matter how you log in, you're going to be presented with the same homepage, the same interface. And What's going to be different though, whether you're logged in securely or not, let's go ahead and log into here real quick. So whether you're logged in not securely or securely, you're going to be presented with the same front page, the same interface. What's going to be different though, is the applications available, again, depending upon the web hosting service you're using. For example, just at a quick glance, if I toggle back and forth between the two, you'll see one difference is right in here where on this account, I'm given this particular application, R1 Soft Restore Backups, and that's not available on this one. But on this one, I've got, what is that? Anonymous FTP, but not on this one. 
no anonymous FTP on this one. So again, it just depends. The thing though is that if you see an application or you encounter an application either through this video or another video or some other means and it's something that you might be interested in using, simply contact your web hosting company and tell them, hey, what's the worst that's going to happen? They'll say no. But a similarity between cPanels, no matter what hosting account you're going to have, is the setup. You're going to have different panels with these different applications here. And on the left side, you're going to have a column of information the stats and you're going to have frequently accessed areas which you can zip to by just clicking on the links here these are areas that i've been frequently accessing and you can do a search here and there might be some notices in here too basically i find this is more of an advertising area than anything else for the web hosting company but under the stats here be familiarized with what is available here because in some scripts that you're going to use they might require you to know the path to send mail or the path to pearl so at least ways now you know where it is. You may not have to ever know what it is, but at least now you know where it is in case you need to know. And you can collapse those stats, which is usually the case by default. Now over here under the different panels you've got, you can drag these back and forth to your own personal preference. So speaking of preferences, if you find that you never use this one, stick that puppy down at the very bottom. Put one of the more frequently accessed panels closer to the top. Again, just for convenience, just for personal taste. Totally up to you. And you can also collapse these guys just to get them out of the way, like so. And that's gonna bring us to the end of this video on an introduction to cPanel. Thank you very much for watching and you have a great day.